Hi planners, thanks so much for tuning in to my YouTube channel. It's me, Chloe from Chloe Tree Plans. And in this video, I'm going to be planning in my vertical life planner. And I'm going to be sharing more about how I come up with my daily and weekly routine goals. So I am gonna be talking about that in this video and showing you how I've done weeks in the past. And then of course, planning for this week. So let's not waste any time and get right into this video. have not already go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button i am on the road to 5,000 subscribers and it would be awesome if i could reach that goal after this video so make sure you go ahead and subscribe with the little red button in the bottom right corner subscribe to my channel to my new viewers welcome and to my true blue subscribers welcome back so the first thing i'm going to do with this planner is i'm going to go ahead and take off the cover i do want to go ahead and switch it up So this is the cover I decided to put on it. This is a cover by a black artist. So February is Black History Month. So each week I will be featuring a different black artist cover on my planner. So I will be doing all black artist covers all of February. And each week I'm going to go ahead and change them out. I thought that would be something fun to do for this month. And if you are interested in any of these covers, they did bring quite a few back for the Erin Condren buy one get one sale on their website so go ahead and check out the bogo sale and a lot of these covers are now available in the a5 size so you definitely want to head on over to see which covers are now available in a5 with that being said the link will be in my description below when you use my link it helps me to be able to create more content film more videos and invest in my channel so make sure you go ahead and do that and getting into this okay if you've seen me planning this planner before it is colorful and the reason why i got a colorful vertical is because this is the one they sent me i did a quick little um ad for erin condren at the launch date last year and so this just ended up being the cover that they the color that they sent me they sent me the colorful colorful vertical i am very much so more of a neutral girl and in this case, I probably would have went for just my type colorful if it was my choice because I would have liked the colorful tabs with a more neutral interior, but I did not have that choice. So, so far what I've done is I've really just like covered up this blue scape here and I use stickers and different whiteout and stuff like that. So the whiteout that I use is this whiteout right here. I do have a link to my Amazon shop that has this whiteout if you're looking for this specific one. And um, yeah, I would use that to cover it up if I want to. So on this week, I didn't go against the blue. I just dealt with it and I just kind of enhanced it. And then in this week, I went ahead and used the MCC stickers and whatnot. As you can see, I did not write my routines for that half of the week. That's okay, all right? I did do it from Monday through Wednesday of last week. And so for this week, we're going to try to be more consistent. So going into February, I have a full spread here and I went ahead and I did the white out, okay? I whited out all of the different colors. Um, there was blue on this day and pink on these days and I cannot stand when it is a split week like that. I just don't like it, it's not my preference. So I went ahead and I whited it out, all right? So with that being said, I'm going to use this sticker sheet from Erin um, Condren. I like it because it says, lift your voice and this is a black artist um collab as well so i figured you know let's use it right i think i'm going to go ahead and use my horizontal planner for my dinner plans this week so i'm thinking about covering up the bottom part with this design but i'm still trying to figure it out so um i think i'm just gonna go ahead and cover this whole bottom part all right and so this way I can use the whole bottom. I can use the whole sticker this way. I really like using these kits because it just makes things a lot easier. 
when it comes to planning and they're usually available on the Erin Condren website. You can also customize colors a lot of the times. They have Hello Kitty, they have Wonder Woman, they have Trolls, they have all these different cute designs. So I really like using them. I'm scared that this might show through. So I am going to go ahead and cover that just in case. And now I'm gonna put this sticker here. Thinking that the flora pattern doesn't look so bad next to this. So I'm thinking about using, I'm trying to see which sticker looks better next to it. I think in this one, maybe that one, yeah, not bad. And going into the bottom portion, I want to go ahead and make like a little collage of sorts here at the bottom. Some type of little collage. Now we have a little bit of gold washi tape and I'm gonna put, I think I'm gonna put the one with the bows all across the top here. I think that's, yeah, that's gold. So I'm gonna put the bows at the top. On this side, same thing. I want it to, you know, coordinate a little bit. See how that looks. And now I think I'm gonna go ahead and use my MCC here. And I'm hoping that this white doesn't show through too bad. All right. And now I'm thinking, do I wanna move that down here? I'm thinking about it. Do I want to move that down? I think I do want to move it down. Try to line this up as best as possible and put it here. How cute is that? I feel like that looks really cute and clean. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. I think it turned out cute. I think it turned out really cute. Now, usually I do like little circles. Y'all know how I write my little circles. But this week, I kind of want to play around with my highlighters. So I'm thinking about trying that instead. I'm going to do a quick little swatch to see how closely these colors look to this spread and to see if it coordinates okay. So to do my swatch, I'm just going to grab a little piece of scrap paper I have nearby and see what we're working with. So that's a little bit too purple for me. I think the brown could work as like a neutral color. I do also have this purple and green from Erin Condren. 
a little too purple for me still but let's see what the green looks like mm, not terrible i can see it looking okay but i think i'm going to stick with i think i'm going to stick with just the the brown ish color Let's see what this gray looks like. Another highlighter that I have from Erin Condren. This is pretty light. I like how light that is. I think I'm going to stick with that brown color. I hope it looks cute because I'm a little bit nervous. But I'm going to go with my gut and see what we can work out here. So the first thing I'm going to do for my routines, as you know, I like to list my routines. Here's an example. Back here, I like to list my routines. So I'm going to kind of just give this a little. I have, let me count how many things I have in my morning routine. I have four in my morning and four in my evening. Is that right? Four in the morning, four in the evening? Yes. So for the four in the morning, let's do it like this. And I'm just going to continue and that will be my little checkbox. So as you can see, none of it is perfect, okay? I do not have the exact same um, size, but you know, as I do it and get more comfortable with it, I'm sure it will look even more cohesive, um, but I don't have an issue with it. I think it looks fine. So now I'm gonna just take my pen and write my routines. I, I'm gonna use black this week. I'm just in that kind of mood. I, I thought about using this green color, but I just don't think it's gonna do anything for me. I'm not thinking that the color is gonna do anything for me this week. So I'm gonna use a black pen. If you are new here, my routines involve making sure that I take my meds and vitamins, making sure that I stretch every morning, making sure that I pray and do my daily scripture or read it, and then also making sure I exercise and eat breakfast those are part of my daily routines that i actually struggle with um i don't struggle with my medication as much but sometimes i do still struggle with vitamins in my morning routine and then for my evening routine i have prayer meds my evening meds stretching and physical therapy exercises and prep for the next day so each of these things are things that I could easily forget about or just kind of gloss over. So I'm trying to make them a permanent part of my day to day. All right, so as you can see, I went ahead and added my routines. So a few things did change. So I did notice that last week I had a really hard time with exercise, exercising on Saturday and Sunday. It just felt like they should be my rest days more naturally. I even tried to skip a weekday to kind of save it for the weekend, but I really enjoyed working out during the week in my routine, but on the weekend it felt very forced and it just didn't feel natural. So I decided we're just gonna make Saturday and Sunday rest days this week. I try not to skip two days, but it is what it is. It's just not working and I feel like working out during the week is challenging enough where I don't have to like force myself or push myself to work out Saturday and Sunday as long as I get some kind of movement in. So I did keep my stretching and physical therapy exercises in there. I'm just not gonna be doing cardio on the weekend. So I feel like that is more than okay. So I went ahead and took those out because I just feel like the ones during the week are challenging enough. I also went ahead and added meal prep for the weekend because I feel like I have a hard time staying on track with meal prep. So if I wake up in the morning and I have just even a thought about, you know, what am I gonna eat today? whether that includes eating out or whether that includes eating inside. I just want to be mindful about it and not let it catch me off guard. So that is what the meal prep is about. Also meal prep on Saturday and Sunday will also refer to getting some type of grocery list together and also grocery shopping. My husband does the grocery shopping in our household. So that is something I usually delegate to him and um, we work together on that. And you know, he'll shop, I'll cook, however we wanna do it. So that is what we have going on in the weekend routines. And I really like how this turned out. Like, I think it I think it worked. I think I like how it looks and I will enjoy checking some things off. 
And I'm also going to go ahead and put some things over here, like some type of goal section. So in my goal section, I'm just gonna go ahead and write um, some of the things that I would like to accomplish this week. That I have my little goals written over there. I kind of am thinking about making this my dinner section. So I do have a bunch of stickers here with habit trackers that I'm probably never going to use. Um, so I'm thinking about using one of them on this side. So I'll use this one here for my water, my daily water goal. I've been doing pretty good with it, but I wouldn't mind tracking it. And then I also have a little bit of space here. And what I'm thinking about doing in this section is just putting dinner stickers down here. I know it doesn't sound exciting at all, but I'm thinking about using either this sticker or this one. None of them really match though. This color palette doesn't really go. I'm thinking about these for the green. Yeah, I'm not feeling that. I was gonna cut off the little silver part, but I'm not feeling it. So I'm going to do what I was originally thinking about, which is using this sticker, because I don't use these habit trackers a lot. I have some other ones that I just prefer. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut this part of the meal, meal tracker or the habit tracker off. And put this here. Why am I doing this, you ask? literally just because I have the stuff and sometimes I just try to look for different ways to use stickers especially for inspiration for those who might be at home watching who might have some extra stickers laying around that they want something to do with and so this is just a good way to kind of give you some suggestions and also use up what I have So I really like how this turned out. I feel like it's a nice little semi-neutral spread. I say semi-neutral because I don't feel like it's fully neutral, but I do feel like it has some neutral elements and I like how they turned out. I'm just adding dinner to this section and I will meal plan off camera, figure out what my dinner is going to be for the week. Cause that might be a long process of me thinking. So I will do that when I'm not on camera, but I really like how everything turned out so far and I don't have any complaints, you know, I like it. I think it turned out cute. I think it turned out fun and I'm excited to be able to check these things off with you all on Instagram. I do some check off reels on Instagram. So make sure you go ahead and follow me on Instagram at close your plan so you can see that process. But I love it. I'm so excited to check off these goals. I think it looks great. And remember, you can do this in any vertical spread. So if you have a happy planner or some other kind of planner, feel free to use this method. All right. You can also use this method in a daily planner. So if you have a daily planner or a petite planner, right? you want to go ahead and do it in there too. Really appreciate you tuning in. Let me know in the comments if you like this spread, if this is something you'd like to try to implement in your own planner. 
Let me know in the comments if you want to try some type of checklist method or routine method yourself. Or if you're already doing that, let me know how you like to do yours. I love to go back and forth with you all in the comments. I really appreciate you watching and commenting. Make sure you go ahead and give me a thumbs up as well for this video and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.